Bob, how have you been? Guys, nothing has changed for you. Can, can we be careful with that one? Motherfucker, sit down, shut up, stay in your own lane. I'm sorry, I didn't get that memo. This guy comes into your house as a guest and then takes a giant shit on your living room floor. I, I can't blame you because after all this time, I should have just trusted you without saying it. Cappy's got a jar of peanut butter there somewhere. Uh, the only uh, way that dog could tolerate him. I'm too tall for that. Fuck it, I don't give a shit. And there goes the monetization. Birth control makes women unattractive and crazy. What the fuck? Red evening. It's better than work. I got a space cap. And got I have cap. a brick wall. That is true. I got a new, got a new cap. So, I, th I think it's pretty awesome. You know where it's from? No. That is the uh, Lego space insignia. <laughs> Was that part of something you purchased, like an, an add-on, or was that you can, something you went out of your way and was like, man, I want that motherfucking hat? No, it's it's a little bit of both. So every time you, you actually order something online from the store itself, you get like mm -hmm. VIP points or whatever. Right, and those were just piling up, and it's like, oh, you can you can select gifts with you your can neighbor. redeem, and you got hey. yourself a hat. Yeah, no, dude, I love it. Okay, that like that's it. that ties into a little bit of what I've been doing recently. So, I've embraced Skynet like hundred percent. The lights, the the devices, everything. Okay. I have a couple more things coming here in the near future, but I learned that that company has some kind of a partnership or something with a very, very, very Jeff Bezos, large company. Okay. Very large. Very, like very. almost worldwide. Well, I would say worldwide. But if I go on to that worldwide website, the same product that I want to purchase is probably an extra 20 bucks. But if I buy it direct from the people who made it, they're like, ah, free shipping, 10% off, this, that, the other. And yet they still ship it via the worldwide company. That I'm like, wait, I can get this fucker in two days and not have to pay extra. And you're giving me a discount. Well, hello. 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 There. Hello. hello there. There. Yeah. Hello there. Sign me up. So if you got a hat, because you had points with the the building block of childhood and society. Good on you. Adults are welcome. Says on the box. Right? <laughs> That's what I mean. Yeah. There the dude if y'all just do a little bit of research instead of Either just, well, I'm going to click the button or, well, I'm just going to do what my guru said. You just do a little research. And guys, I, I literally don't do, I don't do the rabbit hole. I Not anymore. I don't go down there because you're just spinning your wheels. It's all bullshit. Paul McCartney might not be the real Paul McCartney. Just saying. maybe, maybe not. You know, Elvis is still purportedly to be alive. Yeah, but doesn't that one go into aliens? Well, yes, but that's the that rabbit hole that I'm telling you. Don't bother. Mm. Just, just eh. Okay, you only have to do a little bit. You only you, you have to just hit the tip of the Titanic iceberg. 
You don't have to go to, well, how deep was that iceberg really? It doesn't matter. The ship sunk anyway, so who fucking cares? Just do a little bit of research. And you'll find, oh, wait, I can get 20% off if I deal with the manufacturer directly or if I deal with the airline or the hotel, whoever it is, you just got to get off your lazy fucking asses just for a second and type in a few keywords you know, hotels, Hilton, whatever it is, wherever you want to stay, whatever airline you want to travel on. When you just decide, oh, okay, I'm instead of waiting for Jack to tell me what to do, I'm going to do my own thing. You find out most of the time, not all the time, but most of the time, wow. I got a hat. I got stone ground mustard. I got eyes for Skynet, which were way cheaper than if I had bought them based on the usual bullshit. Guys, just do a little research. And if you know me by now, you know I, I ain't got time for that shit. I ain't got time because, ah, fuck it. I got less years ahead of me than behind me. And yet I'm like, wait, the, the site that ships everything to everyone everywhere, Jeff Bezos, has what I'm looking for. That's where I found it. But then I was like, wait, there's a manufacturer here. Who's who are they? So I found them, went directly to them, and they're like, Hey, bro, we'll ship it to you with the worldwide site that ships everywhere, Jeff Bezos, and we'll do it for 30 bucks less. Ta da! Is that where you got the mustard? No, 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 no. The mustard, that's something else, bro. I'm <laughs> telling you, the mustard, you know, the you know how there's products that have a best if used by date. Mm, yes, I think. No, that's a no, but no. okay. Like, so it's better if you use it before this date. Right. Isn't that just called the expiration date? Well, yeah, but you know, like women in their thirties. Oh, 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 where's it at? I got something here for that. Where's it at? God damn it. Yeah, damn it. I can't find it. Who fucking cares? <laughs> but yeah expiration dates are one of those gray area things you know granted if you have a package of steak or some fresh vegetables yeah you probably ought to pay attention to the expiration date same with to a degree to medication Oh, well, the shelf life, the half life, it's most potent if you use it by this day. All right. But there are things like stone ground mustard. Okay. I've had it in my fridge since 2021. Hmm? Maybe even before that. But the expiration date was 2021. And I pulled it out and I'm like, eh, let's give it a shot. Let's see if I die. Yeah, we're going to die anyway. Well, there's <laughs> that. But I put that on my hot dogs tonight, right before the show, dude. I'm telling you what, one so far. Now, granted, this may be the last red evening. Just saying. Oh. 
Yeah. I may die in the morning. I might. But the reality is I'll I'll probably be okay. Okay. The stomach Condiments. pump isn't too far removed. Well, it, you know, if if I'm laying there writhing in agony, eh, just let me go. I mean, it would have been a tasteful death, at least. Dude, it is a tasteful death. Because I'm telling you, stone ground mustard, dude, <laughs> that is the shit. Nice. Real quick, not stop Dre for the $2. Now, Sadre, for the two bucks. Thank you very much. Happy International Woman's Day from South Korea. You're in South Korea, Dre? That's pretty dope. I mean, South, uh, I don't know if it's as bad as Japan, but you must get all eyes on you there, Dre. That, yeah, that would be Dre, an experience. Hey, you're a, you're a passport, bro. Rather, it's because you made a choice or you have an occupation that said, hey, we're sending you here. Whatever. I don't care. Dude, how are the women in South Korea? Inquiring minds want to know. From what I've seen, and I don't have yellow fever, the world knows that. Well, yeah, you, you like them white and pure, but that's okay. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say pure. I mean, I'm not getting into Red Hawk territory here. <laughs> You're not getting into Austrian painter territory? No, let's not go there. But from what I've seen, South Korean women are, are pretty good looking. Dude, good looking I don't have yellow fever, but I have a touch of it. I'll just say that. that mm. I, I've not yet dated or fucked or gone out with a yellow fever. Okay, I haven't. But that's not because I wouldn't. It's just the ones I've seen, and I think back to college, okay, we had a lot of yellow fever chicks in college. This mm -hmm. is the early 90s. And I remember looking at them and, you know, I'm, I'm going to get, I'm going to get racist here for just a second. We'll, that, they will know what we're about. Yeah. Because I saw them and I'm like, man, they're either fucking phenomenal. Absolutely like breathtaking. Where it's like, <gasps> whoa. Or wow. they were like ugly as fuck. <laughs> Where it's like, no, 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 no. You will die. There was no in between. And you know, people could argue it and say, "Well, you're you're not one of them." And I'm like, "You're you're correct. I'm not." I am not a yellow person, okay? But the ones I saw back in the day either were just like, oh, fuck, wow. Or, ooh, no, 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 no. no there way. was no in-between. There was no mid. Which I'm sure if Dante, you know, Dante, are you here? I Maybe I don't know, but, you know, if he's lurking, he might be like, Rob, bruh, they're all mids. And I, you know, he's a guy that would know. He lives there. He's one of them. All right. So there's some that are breathtaking, some that are no fucking way, and there's some that, well, yeah, okay, would. For me as a, you know, a white man, it's either, oh my God, hell yes, yeah, sign me up, fuck you, I don't care. Bring them on, or, ooh, no, no, no. How did we get off on that one? Oh, because of Dre. And another Dre super oh. chat, by the way. Dre with the two bucks again. <laughs> Dre 
Thank you. Thank you very much, Dre, for the $2. The women here look at me like I'm Denzel. Denzel Washington. Huh? Oh, so Dre is swimming in pussy. Dude, I need I need to go there. Because I know being a, you know, he's he's Denzel Washington swimming in poon. All right, cool. Dre, I'm gonna one up you. I'm gonna be Tom Cruise with a beard, a white beard. You're gonna be Tom Cruise. Well, you are as tall as he is. Yes. Tom Cruise is a very short man. Yes. It's over. It's over. <laughs> Dude, I've had so many guys from other parts of the world tell me privately, Rob, you need to come here, wherever that is. Whether it's the Middle East or it's the Philippines or it's wherever. Or I got guys going, do don't come here. It's ugly. They're, they're telling me, don't come here. And I'm like, oh, that means yes, yes, I should. Mm. You know, if they're trying to ward me off, they're trying to protect, you know, they don't want me to fuck all the women. <laughs> because they're like, dude, you probably would. And I'm like, yeah, I probably would. Don't threaten I'm me with like, a good time. Goddamn right. Goddamn right. So, as is tradition, because we completely passed that. Rob, have you been? Well, this week was long. Mm -hmm. Over 30 jobs every day except today, which was only 23. So, a shorter day. I got to kind of lounge. I got to kind of relax a little bit. But I'm telling you, when I hear Dre talk about life in South Korea, all I can think is, you know, he says, but Rob, I go to the gym six days a week and I'm six foot. Yeah, Dre, and you're black. Just saying. Most of the women here are attractive. About six out of ten women. Uh, no, wait. South Korea. Seriously. South Korea has the most plastic surgery yeah. in the planet. I, you know what? I there, don't care. Th there is one though. This this chick comes from North Korea, and she she has like a book. She was on Joe Rogan and blah blah blah. Now, mind you, she comes from North Korea. She was imprisoned there and whatever, and so called starved. And I'm kind of like, how? Because if you if you guys can get me the name of this chick, and Rob looks at her, he will know what I mean. Where it's like you were starved. Um, are you sure about that? Because there's Dude. something in the food there. Right. So well, like and that's the thing. Okay. If they're on Instagram or TikTok or wherever they are, clearly they are no longer in North Korea. They're no <laughs> longer there. No, because, because she escaped. That's her whole thing. Right. That's her whole thing. Because otherwise they wouldn't be doing TikToks and Instagram and whatever else they're doing, sitting on Twitter. No, but it's something about her looks where I go like, if that's natural, I don't know what they put in the food there. Or it's Who like, cares? Okay, I'm just saying, just saying. Hey, I, I get it from a rhetorical perspective. I get it. Seriously, she yeah. is even like the first thing on Google. It's like, girl who escaped North Korea? Yes, yes. I'm going to have to look that up now. Yay, know me, Park. Whatever. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Okay. Rather, she was gifted by God and endowed by the good Lord above us all. Here it is. Or <laughs> the if she went to the good doctor and had a bunch of shit done. I don't care. No, I don't care either. I'm just saying, like, you you were starved in North Korea? Oh. It's like... Um, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Those tits were not natural. They're not. Those were not bred in the factories of the North. North. That glimpse that I got. Hey, throw it up there again. Come on. No. Throw it up there again. 
Yeah, then I have to open it up again. Oh, I'll... Yeah, 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 yeah. Where are you? You started it, so now I'm going to fucking finish it. Throw her up there again. Bah, bah, bah. Where is the... Yeah, this is... Um... Let me see it again. Pull that shit up, Jamie. Put that on full screen. Take you and me out of the picture for a minute. Uh, yes. There you go. Okay. So tits are fake. Nose is fake. In the face? Fake. Yeah, the lips are fake. Okay. Don't care. Got laid. Wood. All right. She's hot. I'd fuck her. Oh, I, w I wouldn't say anything about that. I'm just saying, like, really? You were starved? It's like, mm, I don't know. The, there are so many memes of her. It's like, it's amazing. Oh, hello, white man. You say that. It's like, Jesus fucking Christ. Hey, if she says, hello, white man, me like you, me love you long time, and she's, like, serious? Okay. Show up, baby. Come on. I don't care if you're a refugee and you were starved and I I, I don't care. It's I like, like show up and do your thing. I don't care if you've had a thousand dicks in you before. If you look like a goddamn uh, porcupine, you got all the dicks sticking out of you. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm not marrying you. I'm not doing the hey i got a korean bride coming over guys what do you think her 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 i don't give a fuck it's like hey oh you're here now you're you're free from the confines of communism good for you baby come on over here and say hello i don't give a fuck <laughs> that's the point true True, that is true. Like, don't worry about anything. There was um. So, what else did you do this week? These thirty do jobs a day. Yeah, I did a hundred and twenty jobs exactly in four days. It <laughs> was it was something else. Today oh. was the light day where I got to fuck off a little bit, and it was glorious because I even got to go home early, mm. early enough that I got to play around with Skynet, get the music to sync up, turned my house into a disco. It was fucking great. It was, dude. You, you should see the lights when they do their thing based on music, and I have the TV, uh, a couple of different devices, and the stereo. They're all synced up. It's fucking surround sound that you never imagined. And I'm just like sitting back on the couch going, oh man, this, this is why Jack does Legos and this is why I do Skynet. You want to see the box? Yeah, show me the box. See the box. What's in the box? What's in the box? The box. The box. What's in the, the box? The fucking box. The box. Show me the fucking box. Don't look. Look at this. It's huge. It's big. That is. That is fucking. <laughs> yeah, that's big. Not even the biggest box. I... But that's hey, there's a lot of dudes. Yeah, look at that. Oh, I tried. So, guys, for, for the members, for the members, I did a membership stream. It was about two hours, and I got like a six, sixth way i'm like guys hold up because i got asked this before like will you do ever live lego buildings and blah 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 and like with smaller sets i don't mind where it's like you know what we'll do a little membership stream we'll build a small thing for people who are interested pop in whatever we can talk about whatever you want shit like that make a whole channel out of it no thank you i have seen the people who do that their whole life revolves around their hobby and then their and i mean their whole life because they're living space needs to revolve around their hobby as well yeah i, I don't want it. i don't want i don't know what no no that's not something i want but also 
your hobby turns into a job. And I do this for relaxation. This cures mm. this cures anxiety. It's escapism. It's whatever. And I wouldn't want to do this. So for the guys who popped in the membership stream, are we going to continue building this entire set on stream? I am sorry to disappoint, but no. We're not going to do it. <laughs> it's, it's way too large of a set to do that whole damn thing on stream. Every now and then, maybe when I feel like it and it's not finished, we'll do it again. Which we probably will on Tuesday, depending on if I build uh, today. But in general, it's like, no. It's just so much hassle. It's too much. And you're taking out of the building process because you're in the streaming process. Yeah. Now, with video games, I might that wouldn't be so hard. That wouldn't be so hard. I wouldn't. Do I don't RPG. know. I don't know. It depends. Because I understand, you know, Swerve does some shit. Ryan does some shit. And maybe, maybe they're more alpha male than me. Okay. But I, I've thought about it. When I upgrade the computer and go from the, the outdated laptop that I'm talking to y'all on now, and I go full fucking... PC, tower, all the shit. So I can do all the construct video. additional pylons. <laughs> right. Okay. When I want to go that route, when I want to drop $4,000, because I already know what it's going to cost me. Mm -hmm. And most of it's for video editing. It's not for gaming and whatever else. It's for video editing. But if I can do the video editing, they're like, ah, bruh. You know, I've looked. I have I did the research. I went down the rabbit hole. I went past the whole, well, you know, she's got some nice tits and a nice set of lips, wood. I went beyond that to, well, what is her notch count exactly? What is her standard when it comes to marriage, I went down the rabbit hole, guys. Only this was computers because women, you're never going to know. So, no, no. And you will only be disappointed in the end. Yeah, maybe. You will always find out there was something or something. <clears throat> you know what? Hang, you know, put a pin in that one. I want to come back to that. So, here's the thing. I went down the rabbit hole, found out when it came to a computer that would do what I wanted it to do. Mm -hmm. People said, done. Here it is. Got it. Whether it's custom or you want it out of the, you know, a box, you want it off the rack. Here it is. $4,000. Oof. That's why I haven't done it yet, but all right, now at least I know. And so, hey guys, shameless plug, if you, you know, send me some money on Patreon or you send me some money in the Super Chats, all that shit goes towards the funding of the Super Computer. That's actually a pretty nifty goal. Where it's like, well, I would like to have it, but I'm not in a rush to get it. So oh, dude, what? I'm definitely not in a rush. If I was, I wouldn't be embracing Skynet like I am. Mm. Okay, so there's priorities. Okay, but I'm just saying, shameless plug, guys. Go to my Patreon, throw money at me there. Become a member on my YouTube and throw money there. All right. That money, whatever I get from YouTube, Patreon, all my little, you know, uh, residual income, that shit goes straight towards the $4,000 computer. Now, it's meant for doing video editing where I can really just wing through it and the computer's like, dude, bro, is that all you got? Okay. 
That's what I want. I'm experimenting with that. So I had a couple of smaller builds. And I'm like, why not just video that and and edit it a bit, put some music over it, things right. like that. Just get more of a hang on editing and things like that. Still not completely happy with it. You also find out a bit more about lighting where it's like, hey, wait a minute. I don't like the lighting coming from there or from there or from that angle. And that's it's kind of nifty. It's kind of nifty. Hey, it's not only nifty, but I'm telling you, with a $4,000 setup, mm -hmm. you don't really need to worry about lighting as long as it's decent. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's the $4,000 computer will answer the question. Just saying, I already know this, mm. okay, because I've looked into it from the video editing side of things. But, but would you use Da Vinci, da Vinci Resolve on it? or I would use Da Vinci Studio. Oh, uh, so that's the upgraded version of Da Vinci yep, Resolve. that's the $500 version. I already have it. Yeah, I have... Um... So I have iMovie, and a lot of YouTubers still use iMovie, but there are things where I'm kind of like, wait, how did you? How the hell did you do that? Or how did you do that? Because like I don't see those options in iMovie, so maybe I want to do a five-hour tutorial or something on it. Where oh I can well, I mean you video. could if that's the direction you want to go. I've thought about that because. Most of the channels I'm subscribed to are either video editing type of stuff or they're audio. Okay. Literally, there's you and Ryan when it comes to Red Pill. I haven't talked about real Red Pill in ages. Dude, and uh, you know what? Tonight's not the night to start either. No. I've There's better, no point. I, I have better things to do. It's swapping Thank notes, you. guys. I do want to tell you something because I had fun this past week. Yeah. And it had been a while. I had a lot of fun this week. And I'm like, ah, oh, I do miss it. I do miss it. And I know where your mind is going right away. They're like, I'm saying it. I'm like, okay, he's probably thinking that. It's not that. You want to go first or should I? Go ahead. Okay. So I went to a live session in a city nearby with Traddy. And uh, Traddy and I used to be in a band together. Right. I used to be the drummer. He was the guitar player, singer, and things like that. And it was just fun, and it was amazing, and whatever. And I wanted to go to this <laughs> jam session for a while. But I'm kind of like, I don't want to go alone. I'm bored. Like, no, nah, I, I don't want that. Um, so I asked Watson, like, hey, do you want to go? And Watson's kind of has a bad taste left over from previous jam sessions where the jam sessions were like the lo the locals. And as soon as they didn't like you or whatever, or they thought they could do better, they just like push you off the stage and do it themselves kind of thing, even though you were playing with friends. And that just left a bad taste. And I can't blame. So I'm like, hey, Watson, you want to come with? He's like, no, man. Like, no, whatever. He, god damn it, man. Watson is blessed. Just saying. That man. Maybe if he wants to, we'll have him back on Red Evening. That would be fun. That would be fun. But, um, I don't want to branch off too much, but he had like a workshop this week about guitar reparations fixture with uh, high schoolers and things like that. I'm like, how was it? He's like, phones, man, a lot of phones. It's like, oh, that's such a shame because like he really mastered his craft. And then you're going to present it to like, like that must have hurt. That must have hurt. I know it would hurt for me if I would explain like compound movements to kids who are only in their phone. But um, um, oh yeah. So I asked Traddy, like, hey, Traddy, uh, I know might be a bit late. It was like 8 p.m. I know you have the kids, but you want to come with? He's like, oh, I'll 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 uh, ask what's up here. He's like, sure, I'll come with. I'm like, yes. So we went, and it was just fun. 
And I was kind of people watching where it's like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, there's this kind of person. There's that kind of person. And then you had the bands and the bands with a female singer or like the the um, I wouldn't say the hot chicks, but like the prettiest chicks. And of course, that I don't know if this was a thing with you in high school, if you did bands or whatever. Oh, it's, always I did. Like, yeah. it's always like the chick and then her male posse, her male posse and the male posse always looks the same scrawny dweebish hungover guys with no style or whatever just walking behind her walking after her and i was just looking at it and i i just was smiling almost laughing i'm trabby looks at me he's like what what's up with you i'm like just look at it man like it's just so typical nothing really has changed nothing has changed for you yep just so difficult and uh there was this one band with a girl singer and i didn't even know this because and like right now i'm like i looked at most of the chicks i'm like they're they're probably like 15 16 or whatever it's like oh no 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 at a certain point i was i was kind of standing in front of the crowd like <laughs> crowd like the, the 30 people the 20 to 30 people and all of a sudden this this chicken standing in front is standing in front of me and uh, but I'm like, uh, and she kept standing there. I'm like, uh, you want to go outside or whatever? You need to pass. She's like, no, 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 I don't want to go outside. I'm like, well, if you don't mind, I'm going back to my friend. She's like, no, I don't mind. I'm like, I'm very glad you don't mind, and I'm going back to my friend. Thank you for that. She just starts laughing. I'm like, yeah, whatever. And she gets on stage. Apparently, was the singer of the band. And I'm like, oh, okay. And she takes a she takes a sip of beer. She's like, oh, this is very good beer, by the way. Oh, don't worry, I'm 18. I look at Traddy. I'm like, good to know. <laughs> Traddy looks at me at a certain point. He's like, that's 100 your type, isn't it? A nail with tits. I'm like, Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> like, well, kinda, yeah. But it was just fun to see and be out again. And people watching and things like that and see what's going on in the crowd. It's like you you using a Logitech 920 as well? Uh-huh. Then why do you have the HD up and I don't? Well, well, I'm using my phone now, but usually when I have the HD on, it's it's a very fuzzy, very fuzzy uh screen. But it was so cool to see the musicians again. And then you look at like certain guitar players where it's like, is that a chick or just a very ugly? Or no, is that a dude or a very ugly chick? And you don't know. It's like, ooh, oh, okay. It's a guy. Good, good. It's a guy. It's like, okay, okay. And yeah, that was kind of my uh, Tuesday. And it was just fun. It's just fun to see be out there again. Amazing drummers. It's like, oh damn, man, you you guys are not appreciated here. It's just good to see. You're not paying attention, are you? I'm listening to you. Mm -hmm. I'm throwing oh, yeah. some shit at Dre and um, also Dame. Mo more specifically at Dame. Mm -hmm. Because he was on Let Him Burn last week. He came on kind of spontaneous mm -hmm. because he's like, man, you know, watching you fucking assholes talk shit makes me want to come on and talk shit with you. And I'm like, I can make that happen. <laughs> and he was like, oh, okay. The, the dark side of podcasting. Well, you know. Dame, if he wasn't who he is, if he wasn't a member here, if he wasn't a member on my stream, I, I would take your advice, which is you don't bring on assholes who aren't creators. Mm -hmm. That's a good one that I got from you. Years ago, I said it to Vince. Yep. I'm like, there's a difference between consumers and producers. Right. Be careful who you bring on. Correct. And if Dame was just some random asshole that showed up in the chat, I'd be like, yeah, go fuck yourself. I'm not bringing you on. Mm -hmm. But the dude, 
he's been constant. He's a member on my channel. He's been, you know, paying dues for a while that I'm like, because I heard you in my head. Fuck off, Rob. Why would fuck you off. do this? Yeah, fuck <laughs> off. But I'm like, wait. This guy's been a member for more than a minute. Yeah. Dude, Dame. Dame dude, here, Dame. dude, Dame, you, you're, you're real, dude. You're legit, man. Okay. But I thought, you know, while I could hear you in my head going, fuck off, Rob. Why would you do this? But I'm like, man, this guy's throwing a bunch of money at me for a while now. He shows up consistently in the streams. I follow, he follows, we do the twatter thing. And and I'm looking at him going, I'd sit down and have a beer with this guy. And now I would go beyond a beer. Okay. But at the time, a week ago, I'm like, well, I don't know about introducing him to my dad or my girls. I don't know about that shit. But I would definitely sit down and have a beer with the guy. All right. So while I'm hearing you going, fuck off, Rob, part of me is like, ah, you know what? I'm going to give this guy a shot. He'll either, he'll either be okay or, or he'll fuck it up. And if he fucks it up, well, then, you know, I could come back on a live stream with you and go, Jack, ah, you were fucking right, man. God damn it. <laughs> but I'm glad to report that, you know what? No, Dame, Dame was good people. We had a lot of fun. The only thing, and, then, and that's what we're talking about in the chat. He wants to get more involved. And you know what? I'm all for that. Guys, there needs to be more voices, at least voices that have something to say. Okay. I believe Dame has the potential to have something to say. Mm -hmm. Most of the guys, yeah, most of the shit is bullshit. That it's like, ah, fuck that guy. You know, block him, move on. It's red meat. It's, it's, ah, we're doing it for clout. I don't believe Dame is one of them. Otherwise, I wouldn't have invited him on. I wouldn't have brought him on. And, and we had a good time. I, I enjoyed having him on. And Dame, Dame, I'm going to be hitting you up, dude. There's going to be future shows here in the very near future. I'm going to throw the link to you, bro. We're going to have you back. And if you're serious, I guess, you know, serious, throw air quotes around that. Mm -hmm. But if you're serious about, you know, podcasting, doing this horse shit that we're doing now, your video is fine. Whatever you're shooting with, whatever you're doing, whether it's your phone or you're doing it on your laptop or your PC, whatever, it's fine. Your video quality was, it was totally fine. Okay, now, if you want to take it to the next level, you want to be better, hit hit me up, dude. You know, slide into my DMs. I'll help you out, bro. I'm, I'm legit serious. But your microphone was fine. It's okay. And if you want to, you know, do your thing and create your own channel and do your thing, talk about whatever it is you want to talk about, your, your audio was great. But if you want to take it to the next level, your audio matters more. I know this because I've listened to Aaron Clary talk on a blue yeti microphone in his house and it's pleasant it's pleasing it's great i've also heard him talk with whatever bullshit he was using in his car <laughs> well there you go you're laughing jack but you know where i'm going so i'm picking up road noise and all this other distracting bullshit where I couldn't even. 
I was like, man, I got two minutes into it and I'm like, I'm out. Because I get it. I understand what he's doing, but it's like, dude, go back, go back to your home, go back to your studio, whatever it is. Go, go get out of your fucking car. Go back to your homes. Home. Yes. And get on your blue Yeti with your rubber band around a fucking nylon from your wife or whatever you got on your mic. Go back to that because half the time I'm not watching, I'm listening. And that's the point that I've realized as being a YouTuber, a podcaster, whatever, your audio matters more mm. than your video does. Whether you shoot in 1080p or you're shooting in 4K or whatever it is, hey, if you got the hardware and you got the cash, why not? Fuck it. Go with whatever you can get. I'm shooting on a Logitech 920 that I have had for well over a decade. That's what you're seeing right now is a Logitech 920. When I bought it over 10 years ago, it was like 50 bucks. But my audio, on the other hand, is reaching close to a grand. And that's upgrade after, upgrade after, upgrade. But that's because I'm an audiophile. I, I like the sound of something that sounds good. Mm -hmm. I can listen to that, whether I watch it or not. I can sit there and listen to it and go, oh, wait, I'm not hearing background noise. Guys, what are you hearing right now besides me? Listen. <laughs> Nothing. Right. But that's that's a thousand dollars. Yeah, but you don't need the the sure uh Joe Rogan mic oh, either. No, you no. don't need a sure SMB seven. You know, I've thought about it and I may eventually go down the road and get one of those too. Hmm. Just because I've I've heard the dynamics. Of an of a sure SMB seven. Yeah, but, then, but that's all Ryan have like the cheaper version of that, which does the same thing. I don't know. Maybe. Okay. And he might. I don't know. I just know that while my microphone right now, the pod from Roadcaster, it's an XLR. Mm -hmm. It's a great microphone. I fucking love it. But the sure smb is the next level when it comes to sound when it comes to audio and i'm sure that rather between then and now to use the terms i'll probably pick one up but that's me do does does dame need to get a sure smb no do does jack need to get an smb no. Do I need to get an SMB? Maybe. Because when it comes down to it for me, I want that old time 80s, 70s radio voice sound. And this mic is fantastic. But it's not quite there. Hmm. It's close, but it's not quite there. But I'm an audiophile, dude. Hmm. I'm I'm huge on that. But that's me. I'm a fucking perfectionist in on that. I have a friend who's like that, but he had it with the music he listened to. He like mm -hmm. invested so much in his sound system, and yep. he bought like a record player, and he only buys vinyl because that is the best version of the sound, or it's a specific sound. And I'm not going to lie, it was a whole different experience. 
Yeah. It is a whole different experience when you go through that with sound. Oh, and, dude. Yeah. But that's that's even like with simple things as the instruments themselves. You can hear a crappy amp. Though yep. I'm not I'm not as good with distinguishing that sound as much. Like if you'd ask Watson, I don't know if he's that good, but he would be able to distinguish certain sounds from amps where he goes like, that's a Fender Bassman. Yeah, I don't know if I would be able to do that either, but I know good sound when I hear it versus shit. Mm -hmm. That I know. And it's the same with podcasting. It's the same with YouTubing. Okay. I can take this show that we're doing right now on YouTube and I do it because I got your consent mm -hmm. and I throw it in some post-production and it's minor tweaks, but the sound quality between what you and I are hearing and saying right now and what guys are hearing right now, this moment, and what they're going to get on Monday is night and day. Mm -hmm. night did, you, and day. did I tell you about that? I didn't because you probably don't care. But like the, the Dutch police had an Instagram ad. The an Dutch ad. police? had an ad about consent about, oh like, god people really? were on a date people were on a date and the, the date was kind of ending and uh hey you want to get out of here blah 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 and this was the girl saying hey you want to get out of here and the guy goes well i'll let you talk to my lawyer first and his lawyer comes up and he comes with all these forms and blah 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 like we need to be sure this is what you mean and that is what you mean and blah 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 and I didn't see the whole ending, but it kind of ended with, well, you don't want any legal action to be involved in your dates now, do you? Make sure there's consent. It's like, what the fucking hell? What, why is this even a thing? Like, Well, I get why consent is a thing. Don't get me wrong. It's like, the, oh, God, I don't know how to phrase this word. You're <laughs> overthinking it. It's like, God damn it, people. Really? We're going this far? It's like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's what I mean. But that's the difference between real life and online culture. Okay. Online culture. Oh my God. You know, you better get consent every step of the way where in real life, it's one of those. Are you both of the age to consent? Yes. All right. Problem solved. That's it. Okay. Dude, did I ever tell you the time, you know, you know, about Darth Plagueis the Wise? Did I ever tell you the time when I was 18 and she was 16 and we got caught fornicating mm. by the police they turned on the spotlight and you know uh, we're in the middle of it and the spotlight comes on and we get out of the car i get out of the car she's still trying to pull up her dress i get out of the car pulling up my pants the male officer because there was two in the car a female and a male mm -hmm. And the first thing they, they come up and they got their mag lights over their shoulders in addition to the spotlight on the cop car. Okay, so the whole car is lit up like daylight. I get out of the car and, you know, I'm pulling up my pants and the cop goes, what are you guys doing? And they're looking at each other and looking at me and they're rolling their eyes and kind of smirking and it, everybody knew. I mean, there, dude, there's my bare white ass when they turned on the spotlight. Of course they knew what we were doing. And they said, sir, what are you doing? And I said, oh, you know, having fun. And then they turned to her. And they go, ma'am, did you consent? And for about a heartbeat, 
my blood froze. <laughs> because if she would have said no, I'd have been fucked. Mm -hmm. But she said, well, yeah. Yeah, I consented. And they go, oh, okay. Sir, how old are you? And I'm like, I'm 18. Because that's how old I was. Mm -hmm. And they go, okay. Ma'am, how old are you? And she goes, I'm 16. And then the male officer went, sir, come over here for a minute. Ooh. Well, no, no. I'm thinking sobriety. Because there was more of the conversation that was in the middle of all that. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking, think sober, think sober. And then he goes, you know, even though she consented, you're an adult and technically she's not. She's a minor, mm -hmm. which I knew that. Even back then, at the tender age of 18, I knew that. And I, part of me is going, don't have to worry about the sobriety thing. He goes, well, technically she's a minor. If we went and told her parents and they said something else, that's statutory rape. To which I, I knew, I knew that. I knew the laws. Even at 18, I knew. But I'm like, oh, yeah, okay. But then I'm thinking, and I, it's what I said to him. I go, oh, you know, I played stupid. I didn't know that. Are you going to tell her parents? Are you going to tell her mom? Now, I'm sure those police officers didn't understand my question. It wasn't, oh God, please don't tell her. It was more like, please do. Because her mom was the most anti rabid, like, I hate cops. <laughs> She was a half mile down the road. They were at the party. We left the party so we could have a private moment. And it turned out our private moment wasn't so private. But I'm thinking, go tell her mom. You know, bring us down there. Go ahead. See what happens. Fuck around and find out. Okay, I remember that. Her mom hated cops. I don't know why. It doesn't matter. But I'm just thinking, when I said, are you going to tell her parents? It wasn't, oh God, please, no, don't do that. It was more like, please do. I'm kind of <laughs> curious where this is going to go. <laughs> but that's the point, guys. What you see online, okay, the whole, you know, consent every step of the way. One of the things that um, lawmakers and apparently the, the Netherlands fail to mention, they mention, you know, oh, well, she's intoxicated. She can't consent. Oh, they didn't even do that. I understand. I get it. I get it, Jack. But I've seen that argument come up, you know, because whammon most affected. Okay. But I'm sitting here going, well, this is nothing new. Because as early as the 1990s, under United States law, if either party is intoxicated... You cannot consent because you're out of your fucking mind. Okay. So everybody goes, well, you know, women that are drunk can't consent. Well, last time I checked and the law hasn't changed here in Utah. Hey, if I'm fucking drunk 
I can't consent. Rather, I'm 18 or I'm fucking 52. Nothing has changed for me. <laughs> if you made it, nothing has changed for you. That would have rhymed. Well, you know, you can only do so much. Yeah, real quick, and then we're going to wrap this one up. Okay. Not stop Dre for the $2 again. Thank you, Dre, for the two bucks. I prefer buying tech from South Korea or Japan. Good tech. God, what is that Japanese tech company again? Sony. Yeah. Oh, dude. Most of my audio and video gear, when it comes to at least not on the internet, but from home listening and home viewing purposes, it's all Sony. Oh, nice. I've <laughs> never had a problem with Sony, dude. There's another one, but I can't remember which one. Doesn't Damn. matter. No. Guys, thank you very much for hanging out. Dre, thank you for all the super chats. Everything Rob, Rob says dot net. Everything me is in the chat. Uh, in the, wait, what's that thing called? The description. If you want to support the channel, you can become a member like Dre is, like Dame is, like... I believe Daniel is like Marty is, and you will get access to my version of the book of book audio book for free. Uh, and sometimes we do Lego life building streams for members. They, I, I like doing those for members every now and then, like not too large set. And I saw a question by Dre, like how many pieces is too many? It's not necessarily about the piece count, Dre. It's like what? I have that medieval castle, which is 4,500 pieces. Now that is a shitload of pieces. It took me three days to build. But that was a castle. Now, the Star Destroyer? The Lego Star Destroyer is 5,000 pieces. And when I look at that thing, it is immense. It is imposing, even. <clears throat> so it's not the piece count. It's like, what is it? Like, the Lego Millennium Falcon, I don't think I would have fun building that in a lot. Oh, you wouldn't. Nope. Nope, I would not. Same as the Coliseum, like almost. <laughs> oh man, the Coliseum, dude! You need to do a Rome one. You need to do. We need to go back to Rome. Oh uh, no! Like they have the Eiffel Tower as well, ten thousand pieces. <laughs> but there's so much repetitive building constructions and now. Who thing. cares, man? This is this, take one for the fucking team, Jack. If <laughs> I can get that amount via super chats. It's like, no, no, that's not going to happen. So, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Take us out. Hey, Dame, hit me up in the DMs. I'll, I'll hook you up with some mic shit. Nice. Cheers. Bow.